You know what I actually said? I, I, oh my gosh, I'm about to put the video out. I've edited it and then I realized, wait a second. Did you just hear what I just said? So I had to edit it and put this in to say, look, it's Friday today. It's Friday the 9th of March, 2018. It's not Thursday. I feel like I've lost the day. I've been work on work mode for the last few days since we've launched Make a Habit brand, the clothing line, quote, signature cloak collection. Oh my, I don't even know how I did it. But anyway, watch this video, enjoy, share, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. You know what it is, make happy motivation all day, every day. Get into it, you'll see what I'm talking about when you watch the video. Thank you, I'm out. Welcome to another edition of Make Happy Motivation. It's Andrew J. Jules, it's the 9th of March. Well, it's Thursday, the 9th of March, 2018. And yesterday I talked about, if you didn't watch it, make sure you watch it. Make a habit, be happy, be productive. That was yesterday's video and today I'm going to talk about be being honest. So basically people struggle to be honest and mislead others. Make a habit to not be dishonest and let your integrity bring people into the light. I've written that down just to make sure I got that right because I just come up with that to as of now. And it's like what I'm going to share with you today is what I've been doing from before. I'm kind of left a little bit off the track had a conversation with Dr. Lawrence um, Sinclair, McNair, correction, shout out to you, my brother. And it just brought focus on the fact of like, it was a session that wasn't even planned. Oh, I, it turned out to be one of those ones where I made the call, think, and you make assumptions is a bad habit, but sometimes we, we do it, unfortunately, even though we know it's wrong. And I, I ended up being the one being coached in a way which was interesting because i'm always the one doing the coaching and we all need coaches so if you want a life coach you need somebody i'm here i'm available of a limited basis there's are some spaces you know what i've started back the life coaching so if you're in if you would like me to coach you you see my videos you see what i do then get at me but what i want to share with you right now is the fact that i was working a part-time job as i've said before i've never fabricated anything or made out that i'm doing something i'm not and to cut a long story short it was through an agency and these p and and the jo that job basically emailed my agency to say that i breached two things basically and that was one I breached the fact of data twice, which is incorrect. It was only once. And I explained to my line manager or my previous line manager, because he's no longer my line manager. And then the next thing as well was the one where in the UK, if you're living in the UK or you saw it on the news around the world, over a hundred years, we've not had weather that the weather that we had. I lived 13 miles away from my part-time um, part job on the weekend. And they dismissed me for that other reason that I didn't, I was unreliable when the weather was really at the worst. What life and death situation where people were dying. You know what really makes me find it really funny is there was no way to get into work. And I, I like to be as positive as possible. There was no trains. There was no bu buses running. You know, and for those of you that have gone through the struggle and, and saw what happened throughout the, that period of time, just the last few days, it was f icy, minus seven in some places, even colder, you know. And the, the, the crazy thing is they dismissed me for that data and 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 not being reliable and not in the, in the history world history in the history of the uk 100 years i'm just repeating myself 100 years that the weather's been bad yeah and there's ice black ice snow and people are being advised not to go in unless you really have to and if if you don't have to if you can avoid it don't go in because your life could be at risk they dismissed me because of that and because of an agency i'm you know i may look into it a bit more but most likely from what i know already that you don't really have any certain rights as an agency worker. And for those of you that are right, right, working zero at uh, contract hours, and for those of you that are working full-time hours, nothing is set in stone until you take control of your situation. It's not set in stone. You don't know how long you're going to be in the employment that you're in. So the only way I can suggest, or the things that I can tell you to do, is be your own boss. 
There's nothing wrong with it. In fact, I've been building up for this up till now. And it's like three days ago, or now four days ago, already four days ago, I launched Make a Habit Motivation branding which was supposed to be the plan in 2013 but it's 2018 cut along and we're here now cut a long story short we are here you know and make sure you purchase the clothing get involved and even if you don't purchase the clothing or you want to stock our clothing get at us and let us know share this post let people know that honesty is the best policy and it shows your integrity and the thing is for me i have to be honest with you i have to, it makes me feel better about myself when i'm honest because a lot of people mislead others i'm not telling you to go out and be as honest to anybody be careful on how you do how you deliver your honesty or how you show your integrity because it's one way to um, to say something and it's another way to receive it and the thing is bad public bad publicity and good publicity is all good publicity for those of you that know marketing and branding strategies and all of that but the thing is for me what i want to leave you with is the fact that constructive criticism is the take it take it on the chin you know because at the end of the day we're no one's perfect in life i go out of my way to do everything and everything for those of you that know me personally or my business partners and you know and the thing is for me it's like i kind of wear myself thin from time to time and i don't intend to and people probably don't even notice it but only when you actually have that conversation with yourself or look at the person in the mirror and realize that you know what slow down a bit you know like Dr. Lawrence said to me, he just said, slow down a bit, you know, you've got all your, you're young. And I, to me, it's like, I feel I have to get everything done in a day. I mean, and we'll get everything done, just throw everything out there. And for those of you that don't know, over 300 motivational videos in under five months, but I just keep on pushing myself to be the best that I can be and to help people. Because my sole purpose in life is to help millions and billions. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. And that's it for now. You know, obviously... I used to do videos longer than this for those of you that have been watching from day one. But you know, we sorting it down and everything. We keep it moving. Make sure you go get the tea. The clothing, the clothing's there. I'll be putting out the clothing, a new design today along with this cover of this video. So be involved, get involved. Continue to make a habit out of your great habits and knock out the bad habits one by one. Stay positive, productive and patient and believe is and achieve. Remember to be consistent, committed and confident and make a habit in God. Yeah, and share this video. That's that's what I have to say to you. Leave a comment, you know, and hopefully I know this will encourage, motivate and inspire you or somebody else. Thank you. I'm out.